Hey guys. Oh my god. This game is going to give everybody such a huge headache, alright? I have to play Galaxy Mode. Guess what? I have to play Galaxy Mode again. Not all the levels, so don't worry. Only these near-death ones, because I just found out that in order to get the all the items, you have to get at least an A or higher to fucking... You have to get at least an A or higher on every map to unlock an item. But so far, I've beat at least 10 more levels, and the only things I've ever unlocked, you know, more, have been pictures. So, it's just like, oh my god. So it's just like, what the hell? I mean, am I not doing it right? Am I doing something fucking wrong? Because all I've been unlocking is pictures. They should at least tell you what you're gonna fucking unlock. Because that's fucking stupid, because I'm just sitting here wasting my time with another picture. Because I already got the trophy for all the pictures. I don't need another one. I don't need any more pictures. I have the trophy for, uh, 250. Oh, and, uh, I hate all you- I- anyone who's actually complained about the camera in Raging Blast 1, I hate you. I hate you so much. Because the camera now is fucked up more than ever. Okay? Sure, they- they zoomed it out, but in order to zoom it out, they had to make the characters bigger, okay? But when they made the characters bigger, they didn't bother doing anything with the map. They made it bigger, but everything there is the same size. Like, they enlarged the size of the map, but everything on the map is the same size. And a lot of times, if you if you're playing as a big bulky character, your character will block the entire screen. I am not joking. Your character will sometimes block the entire screen. I was Zarbon one time, and I was just rushing towards the screen, and I didn't even know it because Zarbon was blocking the entire screen. Frieza was actually shooting P blasts at me, and I had one health because I was doing Zarbon's near death thing, and I died. And I had to redo that one about a good 30 times before I could finally fucking beat it. Because this game, I swear to God, Namco Bandai, I want, I want to kill them. I want to kill them. I want to kill the president of Namco Bandai. If I had a gun and I was in Japan, you better believe I would assassinate the president of Namco Bandai for being freaking retarded. Anybody could have made a better Dragon Ball Z game. Now, I... Guess what? I'm starting to agree that they should stop. That no, not not that they should start making Dragon Ball Z games in general. No, but I want Namco Bandai to stop making Dragon Ball Z games because they are terrible at it. They are terrible at making Dragon Ball Z games. I swear to God, they have so many, there's so many flaws. Okay, say you knock your opponent. Say you knock your opponent and he's flying in the air. Then you decide to transform. Okay, well you transform thinking your opponent's still flying in the air. But your opponent's not flying through the air anymore. They're standing, you know, like as if you never hit them. Their health is still down, but they're standing like as if you never hit them. That's a huge glitch. You know, it's, it's not just, you know, just a regular glitch that you can find every so often. That's a glitch that's in the actual gameplay itself. It's come, it's fused with the gameplay now. There's no, there's no fixing that. Well, and th not unless they patched it, but no, Namco Bandai is so cheap, they can't do that, because they could have easily patched uh, to fix the uh, Storm 2 um, online, because that thing sucked, even though they were supposedly on the same server, since they they're both made by the same company that made Raging Blast, and Raging Blast online is smooth as hell. But God, this game is so difficult. It is insane. It will... I swear, I kid you not, because like about five minutes ago, I was about, I was literally about, because I was over there on my bed, beating the shit out of my bed, because this game is so fucking difficult. If, you know, if I had the money to buy another PS3, you better believe my PS3 would be engraved in the sidewalk right now, okay? Because this, I wanted, to, I wanted to just throw my PS3 and my TV out the fucking window because this game is just so fucking difficult. And I know what s someone else is probably writing a comment right now saying, "If the game's so difficult, why do you even play it?" You know, one of those jackasses that has absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, but just decides to write a comment about that anyway. Uh, I am a trophy whore, basically. I'm a trophy whore. I love getting trophies. As you can see. I have, let's see, 84% on this freaking game. There's one trophy that I'm trying to get now. Caps Corporation founded. The one you put all items. The only one also missing is Tribune King, which I can get in five minutes. Uh, earn 30 victories online. Earn 50 titles or more. Earn 100 titles or more. Earn five losses. Reach your 50th fight and fight 10 times on one player versus CPU. I mean, uh, two player. Other than that, I completely, um, yeah, I completely beat all. Trophies and stuff, but 
For goodness sake. This trophy is just so tedious. God. Oh my god, I'm tired of seeing your fighting hatch yet. And, I mean, it's not a thing about time or anything, because it's not a thing about the opponent being too strong in this level, because he's not very easy right now. I could own him so much. I could own him in, like, about five seconds if I wanted to, but no, I have to actually, in a fighting game, I'm not allowed to defeat my opponent until a certain time. In a fighting game, I'm not allowed to defeat my opponent. Has anyone ever heard of that? You can't defeat your opponent in a fighting game. You're not allowed to defeat your opponent in a fighting game. What is that? What kind of fighting game allow not allows you to defeat your opponent? They should at least say, um, fight near death, you know, fight in near death. Not not how long can you survive in near death, because no, that's just adding insult to freaking injury. Yeah, go bad eye. It's hard enough. It's hard enough defeating an opponent in near death. But no, you have to sit here, play it repeatedly, and last out at least, at least one minute, and then you have to defeat your opponent, because that will get you at least an A. At least an A or an A++ or something along the lines of that. You have to survive at least one minute, then you have to defeat your opponent, and that should give you enough points. Actually, it will give you enough points, because I've done that many times. However, if you, if you wait till uh, one minute and 15 seconds, and then defeat your opponent, then that will give you an A++, but it's not like it matters, just, oh my god. I really think, if you, I really think retry should be at the top. Do you not think so? So we can just go retry, retry, retry. If we want to go back to the main menu, it should be at the bottom, like it was in Tinkai G3, you know? It was even, it was even the next choice on, um, the first region blast. But no, now it's the second, now, now, uh, retry is the second choice. Oh, and, and yeah, that kick totally hit me, totally. It, you know, even though it got nowhere close to me at all, it hit me. And the items still don't work. All I have are Death Start one, uh, 1 and one and uh, 3. And those don't work at all. They, 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 they gave me items that I cannot use. Ever. I can equip them, sure, but they, they don't work. Which isn't fair. If they're going to give you an item, you not Oh, well, you have to equip the right number. What if you haven't unlocked it yet, like I have? And you're just freaking screwed? That's not fair, because I have completely beaten every single one of those, um, uh, what the fuck are they called? Those things where you have to, um, do special little events up there. I did all of those, and that's how you unlock them. But guess what? All I have are one and three, and they don't work at all. I've tried them on almost, on almost every character so far. Every character that I've had to redo, and so far it's been about, uh, ten. There's a hundred characters, but so far it's been about ten, and it does nothing. Why can't they just give you one item to equip to everybody? Because what what are we? This is a fighting game, not a guessing game. I'm I'm just oh I'm gonna guess three. Oh no, nope, still have one L. Got to exit the match all and, and redo it all over again with two this time. Oh, it's not two. Got to exit the match again and put on three. Why don't they just make one? That, it doesn't make any, a single bit of sense. It, it just doesn't. I'm sorry. It just doesn't make a single bit of sense at all. It's, it's stupid. It's really stupid. Not to mention, I really think this game could have gone without a lot of the characters that this game did have. I mean, who the fuck wants to play? As um, what, what what's his name? Cooler Squad. Who wants to play as Cooler Squad? No, don't get me wrong. I usually usually like those kind of characters, but you know those characters characters that are actually actually interesting that I'd like to do. Cooler Cooler's cool, you know. But I want to do you know Saiyans against you know Frieza and his army, not Saiyans against Cooler and his army because I know they'd get on. But I wanted to do, you know, that's why I like, I always use Frieza Soldier. In BT3, I would non-stop freaking use Frieza Soldier. Frieza Soldier and a pool. Where are they in this game? I don't know. How about Tora? Where's the rest of Bardock's squad? Why aren't they in this game? I don't know. You know why? Because Namco Vanna is freaking retarded. I know. I'm going to make, se uh, I'm going to make four of the six equipped exclusive characters to this game be henchmen. Who does that? And they're not even cool henchmen. They're henchmen from one movie, and they were in that movie, well, 
Uh, not even all of them were in the movie for the whole time. Didn't like one of them die at like, the beginning? Like, didn't Door, the big green guy, die at like, the beginning of the movie? Something like that. They didn't last. They lasted in. They they were in one fifty minute movie. Get over yourselves, Namco Bandai. Seriously, Namco Bandai, get over yourself. You need to stop making Dragon Ball Z games. Pass the torch onto somebody who knows what they're doing. I swear to God, I would I would kill the president of Namco Bandai if I was in Japan and I had a gun. I probably wouldn't kill him, but I'd just go in, in his office and beat the crap out of him. Pretty much. That's basically what I do. See you guys later.